Listen, I like to grow out my hair. Don't attack me for my hair growing out, okay? But I know that I need a haircut. I'll be getting it soon. Stay patient. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna react to Jesse's video. Okay, this video is called Haircuts for the Homeless. A haircut can change a life. So Jesse is um, from Boyfriend vs. Girlfriend. He's a straight up OG YouTuber, okay? He had a YouTube channel with, um, with his girlfriend at the time. Oh my God, I forgot her name and I'm following her. Comment below if you remember her name. I don't remember. Damn it, I don't remember. But anyways, they were together for 10 years. They broke up. It was a sad situation. Everybody was sad. They wanted them to stay together forever. Didn't happen, but it's okay. They're friends now. Jesse um, is on his own now, and he uploads whenever he can. But when he does, he makes some bomb-ass videos, okay? He has great ideas, and this is going to be one of them. So let's go ahead and watch this video. I'm going to knock it out of the park this one. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Mercy, LA homelessness has spiked 16%. There are now 36,000 active homeless people that they've counted, and that's just in the last year. And that isn't the only thing that has exploded in LA. Are you gonna be around here tomorrow? Tomorrow I got a couple trailers set up for showers. I got six barbers coming. We got food for you, massages, come through, 8 a.m. Yeah, third and rose. Yeah, I guess you heard about it already, but we got some sneakers and I'll know if you need one of these. Well, I'll get you some new ones. You're about my size. I won't let you know tomorrow. You got one? Yeah. Alright, I'll see you there. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. I'll see you there. Sweet. That's Sweet what's party. up. I'll see you there. That's what's up. Thanks. Like, This is something that I truly want to do. I've always said that I want to be successful on YouTube and make money and make really good money, not for myself. Like I truly tear up and cry about it when I think about it. When I think about how many lives I can change, I like, I like helping people I don't know. People I know, of course I want to help people I know, like my family and my parents and everything like that. But I also want to help people that I've never encountered in my life. Those who need the help. That's where I would spend my money. I'm not knocking YouTubers that like to buy name brands, you know. It's okay to treat yourself. I mean, you work hard for it. At the same time, put in work to help other people. I hate to sound religious and everything, but God gave you that platform. God gave you this money, this life to really help others. And if you have it, do it. This is awesome. I like to see videos like this. Alright, so we're doing barbers, barbers, massages, clothes. We come out every day to uh, one of our locations. We usually we'll have 30 or 40 people waiting on us. So we do a sign up list. When your name comes up, you go in, you got a yeah. clean shower, towel, 15 minutes of hot water, on um, soap, razor, whatever you need. You know, have a place where you come and they treat you well, they treat you like a king. Allows you to build yourself back up. This is actually happening it's now. Actually happening. Remember when we talked about this? It was a whole dream. Now it's actually happening. I'm gonna have to remember that because what is it called? The name of the business? Something shower. I'm gonna have to remember that. Maybe one day I can use that for the city of Chicago. So they have a sponsor helping them out. Go ahead, boy. Get that haircut. These are people. These are human beings. They have lives. They have experiences, just like anybody else. And who knows, they have children. You know, people have gone through things, and some people were able to get out of it, and some people aren't. And I would never judge someone that's living off on the street or sleeping on the street. They want love just like anybody else. And it's, I love to see them smile right now. Like. Jack, Jack stop. No, I heard the guy that says Frank stuff. The guy who orchestrated this. 
show up, and you go out, and you pick up trash and clean up the street. They'll get you housing, and then they start working on getting you a job. Is that something you'd be into? 15 years ago, I was in a similar situation where I was on the streets, hooked on drugs and alcohol, and I managed to make a comeback. Nice to meet you, Douglas. I'm Tony. Thanks for coming out. So, are you well, not working right now? How about it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably, yeah. We can probably share it. What's the uh, last time you had a haircut? About a year, man. A year? Yeah, this worker? You look good, bro. Hey. Need some sunblock on your nose. <laughs> we got any sunblock? <laughs> Look at them shoes. Look at that. Yeah. It's this morning I told my friend Dave. I said I just I hope the guys they're Adidas. <laughs> and they are that. I can't believe it. It's a miracle. That's awesome. Look at that. They're rocking on some nice shoes. Looking everybody up with haircuts, showers, food. Clothes, they're getting massages. Massages. Okay. Enjoying it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but are you living on the streets right now? Right now. Are you I'm sleeping at the floor right next to my bed? Are you young for that? Uh, my Facebook has a bunch of Really? Let's look Let's it up. Look at that. Right here? Legend Knuckles in the hole right there. <laughs> That's true. Dog town. But none of these guys want haircuts. They're rock and rollers, bro. Right? <laughs> no, he's on. Tell me how they feel. Just push into that. Hopefully I don't have to go sleep. Yeah, your feet are wide. <laughs> I'm killing like <laughs> you didn't cut now? Yes, sir. Oh, it's the finishing pieces now. It all comes together right here. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, sir. When's the last time you got a haircut? Oh man, it's been about three months, man. Three months? I got a three month roll right here. I'm not even homeless, and that's usually how long I wait to get a haircut. But I'm trying to like escape from that because I am filming more often now, especially on this channel, so I need to get my shit together. How long you been on the street? Uh, a few years now. Yeah. I'm looking for a place to ask me to speak though. It's kind of tough going to people when you, when you ain't trimmed up and want to go best you can, first and present, you know. Yeah. Man, I had more half dead than I thought, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Looking nice already. You know, I believe a haircut can change somebody's life. Like, it is one step in the right direction. And if somebody's going in for a job interview or they're kind of teetering on giving up, you know, yeah. a haircut can transform somebody and give them hope and actually give them drive for that day to move in a good direction. He's popping tags now. You see this? You see him? He's glowing. Brandon, the Brandon. Look at that, boy. It takes a lot of people. It takes a village just for me. I have like six kids. I have six people working in the industry. Grab that. Look at that. So beautiful. It's still you. Yes. You're very much you. Very feminine. My dear. Aww. People go in, they know they're loved, they know they're cared for and respected. A big thing in Lava May is radical hospitality. We treat everybody with the highest level of love and respect and, and help build them back up. You know, it's, it's hard out on the streets. You, uh, you're, you're constantly looked down upon. You're not looking at yourself with a lot of uh, respect. Thank you. Yeah, let's see. Appreciate it. Or this name. Let me see it one more time. Right here. Look how beautiful she is. Look how beautiful she is. When they look at themselves, sorry, I'm tearing up. When they look at when they look at themselves in the mirror, it's not just the whole appearance of looking nice. It's the whole fact of, and this is just me from my perspective, from what I believe. When they look in the mirror, they bring back it brings back memories of how they used to look before they ended up before they ended up in the streets. And it's a lot. I hear it every day. People coming out, feeling you know, I feel new. I feel like a million bucks. I feel good again. I get to watch them build themselves back up and go from from being you know systemically homeless, not looking for a way out, to moving all the way 
to get their keys and get their apartment moving, moving on up back into society. I'm doing good. Go, <laughs> <laughs> my man. Fresh. Now that we got everyone looking super fresh and clean and feeling good and happy, let's do like a little lookbook with them. Oh, a lookbook. I love his lookbooks. He does like these little clips that he edits because man, Jesse can dress. I love the way he dresses. I love the way he dresses. But anyways, they do like little little clips and it's awesome. Okay. Hey. Oh my god. And they didn't just half-ass their haircuts. You see how nice that looks? Yes. Yes. Look at him. Oh yeah, a little walk. Look at Red from the cops. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, man, I appreciate you. For you guys, it be no hope. No hope means everyone does dope. No hope means everybody does dope. <laughs> Don't everybody do dope. Oh my god, it was so great. It was the best. I did. It was like, oh, I can't even, I'm like. It's crazy to me like, how much of an impact you can make in someone's life. Yeah. With something so simple as a haircut. So simple. A shower, some love. Something. I just really hope this video inspires some of you guys to go out in your community and do something positive. Always. Just acknowledging somebody that's in need goes a long way. Always. I'm so grateful for Dollar Shave Club for stepping in and supporting our vision to serve our community. If you don't already know, Dollar Shave Club is a men's grooming delivery service that ships straight to your door. I've been a customer for three years now and it's incredible to work with them. They don't only have razors, they also do face washes, face soap, shampoo, butt wipes if you need them, some fellas need them. If you're interested in supporting <laughs> them, I got you to hook up for five bucks, which is super cheap. Razors are like 30 at the store. So what you get in the starter kit is an executive handle, four razor blades, some shave butter, some mint and cedar face and body wash, and a sage and black pepper shampoo and conditioner. So if you want to grab that five dollar starter kit, I put a link in the description, it's right down there, dollarshapeclub.com backslash jesse. Like I said, just five dollars. And by supporting a brand like this, you're also supporting somebody like me that's making conscious efforts in their community. That's I what I was gonna say, I'm letting this ad play. I'm letting his advertisement play only because they've helped him, they sponsored him to help the homeless in this video. Now this is my video, but it took an entire tribe, and I just want to thank everybody that came together to make this possible. To all my friends that helped, I love you guys, thank you. There's bombs going off. The shower <laughs> company that came through, Power of the Shower, Lava May, you guys are doing incredible things, thank you. Oh my God, Jason and the men's groomer, this dude is a rock star, I really hope you go look, check him out. He's been cutting uh, homeless hair for about four years now. He was actually homeless himself, he's got a crazy story. Check him out. Adidas, you guys are awesome. Donated all their sneakers, it's been incredible. And you guys, like, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have this platform to push such awesome content like this. And I wanna do more, so please show some love, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see y'all later, peace. Peace. Good job, Jesse, good job. Walking down the street, and if you see a homeless man or homeless woman just sleeping there, tell them hello. Tell them how are you doing, you know? Tell them, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you later, I'll see you around. Have a simple conversation with them. That can go a long way for somebody. They have people walking around them, walking over them, like they're nothing, like they're a piece of shit, like they're garbage, and they're not. So just say hi to them. That can really make their day. I actually, and this is gonna be a story time, but I actually met a homeless man in the streets of Chicago. And I brought him home with me, and I lived in Elgin. It was a good 45 minute drive. And yes, I, I, that's the first time I met this man and I did take him home with me. I let him sleep on my bed, shower, got some new socks. And it's a, it's a whole story and I'm gonna save that for another day. But anyways, help as much as you can with whatever you can. One day, when I'm successful on YouTube, that is my mission, is to help people. That is my mission. Help me do that. All right, y'all, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.